So today I'm taking apart a cheap Tenma soldering iron. Usually sells for about $24.95. Claims to be temperature controlled. I've got my doubts about it considering how cheap this was and how little there is to this iron. So uh, I'm kind of jumping into this. I've already got the bottom off and I've already pulled the knob off. So let's take a look and see what's inside this. I pop the back open. I like that nice big weight to keep it steady. But I look at the circuit board. I look at the cable that's going out to the to the iron itself, and I only see three wires: black for hot, white for neutral, and green for ground. That's not a good sign. Although there are some irons that use the uh, change in resistance of the heating element itself to monitor the temperature. I'm kind of doubting that this is that kind, seeing how small this little board is. And in fact, I pop it out, and there is one and only one active component on the whole board. So I very strongly suspect that this is merely the equivalent of light dimmer, just a very small triac that's just using phase control. And this is really not a temperature controlled iron, but a heat controlled iron or a power controlled iron, which is not the same thing at all. Um, for the price, um, it works just fine. The the big, really the biggest issue with it, with all cheap irons, is that they give you these really stiff vinyl PVC insulated cords. It's about as stiff as a, a regular computer power cord is. Um, although uh, if you uh, let it out and let it relax in a warm room. It's not too bad. It doesn't keep trying to curl up all the time. Um, if you're going to try and take it with you anywhere and you wrap the cord up, it has a tendency to get a fix to it and make it very difficult to unwrap. And it keeps trying to jump around depending on where, on where you move the iron. I bought four of these for Olimega to use and uh, uh, they work just fine for that. Um, but uh, I would rather have temperature control in these so I think that I'm going to take one of these this one and I'm going to see if I can add an Arduino temperature control to it that uses the resistance of the heating element to monitor the temperature first I'm going to have to do some tests on the heating element itself uh, bring it up to uh, to a temperature and um, uh, and then quickly disconnect it and measure the resistance of it um, and then it, once I determine that it is actually changing by uh, enough resistance for me to monitor the temperature with it then I can build a circuit that will monitor the temperature while it's receiving power so uh, that's about it for now my name is Steve Greenfield uh, if you'd like to see more of this, um, subscribe to me, and uh, if you like this, please upvote. If you don't, let me know in the comments.